when it used to chat there. <laughs> ah, that was Ndombi by Ambusi featuring NAC Music. Speaking of Hype It Up, we've got the presence of Miss Mobile Papu in the studio. Yeah. You're not going to get to see her, but we see her with yeah. the vibes. Happy Tuesday to you and yours. Welcome to Ooh. the biggest show in the motherland. My name is Lama Moon. I'm home being dead. I never do this alone because it's the biggest, the baddest, and the most hip and happening show in town. I got to bring my squad, squad, squad. That's what's up. That's what's up. My name is Awonke Dulaz. Like I said, he's not, he's not writing solo. I will be with you guys for the next hour of nothing but great entertainment as well as some education yana for the folks there we also have our beautiful young lady from kwalanga melikaya uh makaula she's a poet from kwalanga she's a uh, very admin uh, but uh, inspiring the youth and also getting a lot of people involved in cultural activities and also taking pride in our cultural background, which I very, very I like very much. If you true became Nike, so I'll get I'll educate you guys. More. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> about what that tribe is about. Oh yes, darlings, happy Tuesday and welcome to yet another edition of your favorite show. This is XA right here on Cape Town TV. Listen, if you want to call us on our show, the number to dial is 021 448 0448 or go on to social media with at XA underscore Cape Town TV and the hashtag for today is hashtag Tuesday so head on out to social media and let us know your tweets and I'll be reading them live on the show today I am Vuyo Chabod and also on the show today we'll be chatting to um, some beauty pageant owners and inspiring you know um, mentors so if you are all about beauty pageant if you're beautiful and you think you know God, what it takes to strike a pose and more then you do want to do want to stay tuned on today's show speaking of <laughs> Striking a pose, darlings. We've got <laughs> the first ever Cassia Pride that will be taking place from a lookout hill all the way to NY59 at Gook Stadium. This is brought to you by Abandu the LGBTQI plus community where they want to merge and convince the community as they should respect gays, lesbian, transgender, and a lot of that. They'll be here in studio letting us know what's going to be happening on that match. But on the flip side of this, it's trending news with your boy, Lama Limo. And keep it locked. Bring you spice, we make you wait just a couple of seconds so that is hoping that you do not mind those 10 seconds that um, we made you wait. Um, on the news today is Loi Sobala, Kelly Kumalo, no Dudu Zani Zuma. Let's start with the first man in line. His name is Loi Sobala. While the country has been gushing over the romance between musician Pelo Bala, who is Loiso's brother, and TV star Moshen Digi, a birthday message for Pelo from his brother Loiso has set the internet on meltdown mode. Loiso recently wished his younger brother happy 28th birthday and shared the advice he had given him over the past few weeks which was as I said to him I'm in no position to judge you but to love you and always point you to Christ your relationship with him will define your life's purpose while well, Pelo thanked Loiso the post drew strong reactions on social media soon Loiso found himself on the Twitter trends list with users saying that part about not judging Pelo was unnecessary and accused Loiso of hiding his homophobia behind religion. Others stood by Loiso and said he was being attacked by fake woke Twitter. Loiso's comments did not sit well with some, including fashion designer Tula Cindy, claiming Loiso's love should come with no terms or conditions. Moving on to the next, Miss Kelly Kumalo. Our local musician Kelly Kumalo apparently walked off stage during a performance in Damon 
Durban rather, when the crowd started to chant Senzo Meyua's name like Senzo, 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 Senzo. Okay. Kelly performed two songs at the EFF rally in Chatswood Stadium in Durban before visibly being annoyed. She walked off the stage, the crowd started chanting, Senzo, 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 one more time. Even go, um, event goers held up a banner with the words, Justice for Senzo Meyua, written in capital letters and bold and black font. The goalkeeper was dating Kelly Kumalo when he was tragically murdered while he was at the Kelly Kumalo's home in 2014. Among those in the house at the time of the murder was Kelly, her sister, mother, son, and three of Senzo's friends. No arrests have been made um, for the murder of the former Bafana Bafana goalkeeper. I wonder why, because there are a lot of witnesses um, that were present in the house. Rest in peace, Senzo. And then there's Duzane Zuma. Um, it, it, what do you call these things? Charges. Yeah, charges. Um, were dropped. Former President Jacob Zuma's son, Duduzane Zuma, is in the dock on Tuesday um, for his capable homicide trial relating to the 2014 death of Pumzi Dube when his Porsche collided with a minibus taxi. He heard on Tuesday that he will not have to answer for the death of Jeanette Mashaba, who died in hospital a few weeks after the crash on the M1 South um, Highway near Greystone Drive of Ram. The Rambeck court heard that the state has consulted with a pathologist and Mashaba's death was ruled as a result of natural causes. How Bandla? State prosecutor Yusef Obaba told the court that Mashaba suffered from a pre-existing condition, which the state was unaware of earlier, that led to her death. The condition was not linked to the car crash. Zuma has pleaded not guilty. He said that, um, see, he said in statement that read out by his legal representative, Mike Hallens, that he was driving on the M1 South around 10 p.m. He said it was raining and he lost control after driving through a pool of water. How amazing that you run Imoto, Chase Umdu, and then they happen to die, and then when they die, they say, I want to, not guilty, natural causes. I think sometimes it happens as a mistake, but I don't know in this instance what happened. So I hope that the police are investigating and find out actually what happened. Is it fair on Kelly Kumalo that they chanting sands or sands or while she's performing? You know what, eh? I think we're living in a country where freedom of expression is a thing, mm -hmm. right? And people are obligated and, and allowed to say what they want, how they, what they, at, at whatever time it is. Yeah. But I think when it comes to someone's, for example, like Kelly, who she has a child with, with this man and she, she was in love with Usenzo. So question is now, where does the freedom of expression thing lie? Because now <laughs> with freedom, I, there are responsibilities yeah. as well. Exactly. I, I exactly. understand where the frustration from the card comes from. Because at the end of the day, Kelly was there when yeah. the was And they there. loved yeah. Senzo. I mean, he was one of the, he was a national exactly. treasure. he was an excellent So for them, it's, once again, it's blurring those lines. And okay. One answer is one answer. Hit us up on Twitter, it's Axel underscore live. We'd love to hear your views. Otherwise, it's time for us to flip over to a commercial break. When we return, Excel Live explores the lives of the beauty pageant. Darlings and welcome back. You are still tuned in to your favorite show right here in the Mother City. It is XA right here on Cape Town TV. And now we are going to be reading all your tweets that you've sent through on our hashtag for today, which is hashtag Tuesday. And um, I must say that, you know, Tuesdays are my favorite days because this Tuesday um, hashtag just does something, man. And this one is from Ululu underscore busy saying hashtag Tuesday. I choose to watch XA, the coolest kids in town. It's repeat tomorrow even. Guys, I love you, Lulu, wherever you are, girl. I see you, I love you. I choose you, by the way. And then also we have Uspama and Dawaka, saying, hello guys, I'm watching XA, uh, Uyang Tola, hashtag Tuesday. And then we have Ufakyu uh, at Cindy underscore Mutsidi saying, I do weird things for myself all in the name of self-love. So this hashtag Tuesday, I choose myself. We choose you, we love you, and that's why we brought you a be beauty pageant in the studio today to chat to us all things about the Mbekwini's annual fashion show. 
Yes, um, the first thing that I wanted to find out was um, the guys are from Mbekweni and it's the Mbekwenis and I did not understand why the twang. So <laughs> before we go on and forth with the interview, for people who are as confused like I am, because I know that you're confused guys, um, why the Mbekwenis instead of the Mbekwenis? Um, okay, Lisa guys. Um, Good, good uh, afternoon to oh, so you yeah, okay. and to all the uh, Cape Town TV viewers out there. Mm. Uh, the reason why we chose Umbegweni is than of Umbegweni is because we didn't want to do the or to call it Umbegweni because mm. if the Funians are Kwenye in the house, Kuzo Banzima for us to do it because mm. Inala Mbegweni title, yeah, but, oh. but now that it's Mbegweni, it, it, it seems as if it's. Um, it's like a brand. Yeah. So I call only for certain area or that's why we had to go with Mbeguinese. So yeah. since the inception, the mission and vision was for the Mbeguinese to move up and around. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. That's okay. what that's what we had in mind. But initially it was like for Mbeguini because people wanted to do modeling but they didn't know where yeah. to go, what to do. Then we decided to do this in twenty thirteen. But we had this thing in mind of calling it Mbegwenis then. Because mm -hmm. there are people that are calling it Mbegweni. Like you, you, yeah. you said most Mbegwen. Yeah. So there are people like you, not the only one. But we're trying by all means to correct them that it's Mbegwenis and one fashion show. Okay. Yeah. So there's three of you guys. Um, who's who and what are they doing um, for the pageant? That's okay. okay. Um, mm -hmm. um, so I'm um, part of the marketing um, team on, on, on the pageant. Yeah. yeah. I'm part of the mentor, your models, also a model for a fashion show sure. and also a state director. Okay. And then Mr. Mbeguiniz himself. <laughs> okay, I'm Nandik Malwande Ngandini, known as Umeja. Um, I, I started e, 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 the whole thing, yeah, but, yeah. and then I had people like Okan, Dino Mondi, and one of our e, 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 member e, management, which is Umbu Milali, yeah. who was here last year. So, yeah, I'm. Um, you are the major. Yeah, yeah I'm the major, major in the team. There we go. <laughs> yeah, man. I just, I just want to comment on, on what you said about uh, you feeling that it wouldn't uh, work well if you were to branch into other communities. I feel like that's incorrect. I feel like you can actually export any item if it's well marketed. But anyway, like how many French products do we have that we actually yeah, yeah, we yeah. still yeah. use the French name? Yeah. Mbegwen would work. Uzoala is an international artist. But it didn't. But when it comes, but, but, but we, we respect that. But yeah. uh, when it comes to us and the people that you're mentioning, we totally different. We were not known that yeah. time. We were only known in Miguini. I understand fully. Yeah. Trust me, I do. I just want to know about the boot camp. Please tell us more about the boot camp that we're having on the 20th of April. Okay, the Miguini's annual fashion show. Like we said, it's a fashion show. It started as a fashion show yeah. in 2013, and then in 2015 we decided to do a pageant for the learners, high school learners, students. Uh, and then from there, people were asking questions and stuff. Why are we only doing it for certain people? Mm. Then we started to do it for everyone. So now what we do, we the pageant, we yeah. do things like the photo shoot, we do the boot camp and other workshops. Mm. We boot camp, we, 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 we do easy in the way by we, we uplift the the lady because it's for the ladies mm. so it's all about upliftment we do there's debates there's um physical games uh where people uh, or the contestant get points oh. because it's not only judged a show we do main show we're doing prior the show oh. so that's why we have these small projects yeah. that we're doing prior the I show. Mean, i would like to know from from you why specifically a beauty pageant like and why specifically did you call it the fashion show and not Mbeguenese, Miss Mbeguenese and the Mbeguenese annual fashion show? Well, 2013, it all started as a fashion show. Okay. And then two years later, we decided to do a beauty pageant. Okay. To, okay. To defy in terms of ways of modeling. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And then, yeah. <laughs> and why do you guys think that Abandu Baninzi want to do modeling? What about modeling is Ia Tanba? What, what, what about modeling do people like a lot? Why, do, why is that everyone wants to get into modeling? Um, I, I feel like now 
it's it's the celebrities that are, are trying to to spread this modeling thing some people are doing are starting with modeling yeah but their main goal is presenting okay oh. so we've got like Mondi said earlier that he's mentoring is part of a mentorship a yeah. team people that we bring when we have all these workshops and stuff it's not only in models mm. we do have people from business sectors we yeah. do have people from presenting so when we we give these workshops we we teaching these kids yeah. or these girls how to do this and this and this oh. but we umdu is going via modeling. via modeling so we saw that uh okay modeling people are asking a lot of questions so let's do what the people are saying and you know what i think is what quite fascinating that modeling does something about your confidence as well it yeah. gives you that extra boost as a person that when you're standing in front of a crowd you know how to address it because you've started off in such platforms exactly. but i'd like to know over to this is the fifth year that you guys are doing this yep. what makes this year particularly different from the other four years um what makes it different is uh, the show is not only focusing on pageant. We do have other things that we do, like performing. Mm. Um, we bring people from different areas, and this year we've got two people from outside Western Cape wow. as performers. So that's that's one of the things that we are bringing uh, when we are doing the the show, even the production itself. Each and every year we we bring something. We bring an element. This year we're going to have some things yeah. that I don't want to, man to mention on screen because yeah. uh, I know if I'm not if you come a uh, show in and the things that we say now are not there you're gonna be like ah well, you said this oh. mm, okay. but we always you don't wanna raise expectations yeah so right. we always bring some some elements each and every year so Sanina, are we finalists not yet how do they enter um, we we have our face on our Facebook we, mm. and Instagram. We always tell people to go where to go for the entry forms. Mm -hmm. So we've got Isilulo, one of the organization that is supporting us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so our forms are available at Silulo, uh, PAL, Midway Center, um, and via our WhatsApp, we've got the number we poster that we sent uh, already posted okay. out. Uh, so we we that's our WhatsApp number. Okay, and we already have um, your details on Facebook. Yeah, um, we on have screen. everything on Facebook. Oh, so listen. that's how people. Okay, see. thank you listen very much for coming yeah. through and doing great things for <laughs> Mbekwenis. <laughs> and I see Ukad is wearing stars. Zimans, <laughs> our very own keep representing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen, yeah. darlings. I mean, it's all things beauty. It's all things pageantry. But I'd like to link to the next link by saying these words: that animation is one of the best industries within the world. And we went to the Cape Town. International Animation Festival to check out who's who, who's doing what, and what it's all about. So check this out. and and hello thank you so much once again for tuning in into XA right here on Cape Town TV channel 263 I am your host of Weird Mode darlings and I am here in observatory uh, at the River Club for the Cape Town International Animation Festival 2019 it is in its eighth year and I must say that the level and the par has gone so high because we have international guests who are in going to be um, on the lineup for this weekend namely Peter A. Ramsey who's the director of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse as well as Aaron Warner and so many other amazing African and international speakers so do follow us around to see what went down at the CTIFA weekend and right next to me I have an animator of note listen she's just one at like a number of awards at the Cape Town International Animation Festival Student Awards. And um, her name is Sinetla Antashozi. Girl, how are you doing? Hey, bro. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Listen, <laughs> you've just won a trip to the Annecy 2020. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I am very scared because it was really unexpected. Yes. And um, having had to like manage a production and be part of it last year was very tough. And it took a lot out of me emotionally. So it's very rewarding 
but very unexpected. Yes. You're female, you're black, you're in an, an animation. Um, how is that pressure for you? Is How is that for you as, as a female who is black within this industry? There's quite a lot of pressure to perform as a female. Um, but once again, like it's hard to make like stuff that's really African yes. because the medium isn't originally ours, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. And the stories that we grow up on, that we see on TV as well, aren't, um, most of them aren't African. right here at the Cape Town International Animation Festival 2019 and listen we've just had a talk from the one and only Peter A. Ramsey who's the director of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Tevin right here with me will be chatting to us about what his thoughts were on his talk. Tevin how are you? I'm good how are you doing? I'm very well thank you just let us know about your what, what are your thoughts how did you feel being in the same space as Peter A. Ramsey? Wow um it's just incredible, you know, because you're hearing it from the man himself. Um, it was just beautiful just seeing the processes that and everything that happens behind the scenes, you know, and he showed us a couple of images, um, how the progression was, and I learned a lot from him today. Um, he's personally a hero of mine because obviously Black Spider-Man, Miles Morales, it's a character I've always wanted to play for a really long time. It's such a beautiful opportunity and I wish more people knew about this event. Um, obviously I found out through you and I was so shook, I was like wow this is actually happening you know. So um, yeah it's just, it's a privilege and it's such an incredible event and I'm happy I'm here. Listen, I, I have the pleasure of seeing all of this happening live in action. Right here with me, I have Cabello, who seems like he's drawing something very interesting. Cabello, what are you doing here? I'm just uh, trying out the Wacom Cintiq 16 inch yeah. Pro, and I'm just doodling myself as a cartoon character just to play around with the technology. I have, a, I have like the lower level of the same brand, so I'm like trying to see if I were to upgrade, what would it be like? So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, that's what and I'm doing. And how long does it take to put together a character? Um, well, it depends on the character, but if I'm just doodling like this, I think I've been sitting here for 15 minutes, so I just doodled this just now. But in terms of character design, uh, what I always tell my students is they need to give themselves enough time to work. So I would give um, about a week for them to do their assignment. That's what I would do. been absolutely informative uh, this entire weekend and right next to me I have a very informative um, woman who's going to inform us some more right now she is Isabel from Animation SA. Isabel thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. You are a role player and a very big one within the animation industry in South Africa and just within the world at large and I know that you also play a very big role within an, um, women and um, animation. How would you say that industry is like for specifically women? Well, it's one of the things as animation is say within my unit under skills development and transformation, although I'm changing that title, to social impact and human capital innovation, um, because I feel that uh, black people, the, the name transformation makes uh, black people and women feel like they are transformation candidates as opposed to gifted, talented members of the industry. So yeah, human capital innovation makes us look at how do we innovate on that space. and. Um, yeah, but in the women's space, we've been researching just, you know, the impact of uh, gender diversity and how are uh, women kind of um, being affected by the recruitment space in animation. Listen, I told you it was going to be absolutely amazing and it was definitely absolutely amazing. We had some inspiring talks, some very, very educating talks as well from our speakers um, that were on the program. So thank you so much once again for following us around um, the River Club right here in Observatory. This is the Cape Town International Animation Festival and I am your host, Weird Mode, darlings. It's ciao for now.
That was your host, we are the darlings. But right now, though, we're not in observatory. Sorry about that. We're not in observatory, but we are live on XA on Cape Town TV because we're cool like that. And you're cool like that because you are on social media. You're hashtagging Tuesday with us, alongside us. And I'd like us to read some of your tweets. We have Ukate Homa saying, saying, shout out to everyone going through a difficult time, but trying their hardest to be positive, proud of you. Hashtag Tuesday. And then we have this one from Ulungisa Mangi saying, Good day and happy Tuesday. My name is Lungisa Somuwa. I'm a volunteer for grassroots non-profit organization. What processes do we need to follow to secure an interview on CTV? Listen, it's so, so simple. All you got to do is email xa at capetowntv.org. That is xa at capetowntv.org. And you can see yourself right here on our yellow couches. And speaking of our yellow couches, we have the first ever, Janga, pioneering this, first ever Kasi Pride uh, in studio today. So let's check it out and see what it's all about. Yes, joining us right here on the yellow couches is, of course, Luko Londlovo, who is part of the glamorous event, who are going to be bringing us this um, very important, I would say, um, <coughs> event let's that we guys. need. Because um, okay, okay, when uh, our girls say e, e prides have been a green point, the mm. long street, and this one is the first ever, Ekas. ever. Ekas is a color you look out here all the way to Ekokuletu. They're going to be walking. Abandu Buyaba, Mayabu Pride, they're usually on hills and stuff. So <laughs> I, no, I don't envy them. Uh, I'll watch from social media. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. You look glamorous. Thank you so I'm much. I'm envying your makeup. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Momo, tell us about um, e glamorous event and why they chose to present us with the first ever Kasi Pride. Glamorous event, first of all, my name is Luke Lundrover, I'm from New Cross Road. Yes. Um, glamorous was established in 2016 when I was unemployed, like I was doing nothing. Yeah. And I feel like I, I owe the community like to do something in my community. Yeah. Then I come up with the, the event of let me do something that I sent to Gagdala and it was interested to young people, mm. which is, uh, I formed Mr. and Ms. Kasi. Yes. Okay. Then it was a success and in Angola, I many challenges, but in Dubang, I a way to go and in Diyame, Diyame. Like last year, I hosted Mr. and Ms. Kasi versus unapologetic case. For the first time having unapologetic case, they've been asking me, look, when are you doing like for us? And then in Dukonba, yeah. I can just imagine the drama, the source, and everything. Yes. <laughs> Let me bring them as, as part of the, the, the modeling show. Yeah. It was interesting. It was like about Babel Buke, the Befun called the Mana, Kubanos, or whatever. Maybe because of the founder is gay, then they want to see who's taking the crown. Anyway, it was a success. And as well, last year I hosted a dialogue that was. I was working with Tutami Dish and the Feather Awards. Yeah. It was a success. We even involved the parents to be part of the dialogue because. We will always saying if parents is it is a problem because of the way we are. Can the parents is it needs clarity why in Tina Sinje we must bring them along, bring our sisters, bring our brothers because the challenge is at home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So coming to Kasi Pride, Kasi Pride, I was looking forward to for you are not for the first time we're having in black community. Mm. Like I was even involved in the political parties to be part yeah. of the event yeah. because they, they 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 always like mention LGBTI LGBTI. And my question was, what are they doing for the LGBTI? Yeah. They do nothing, but when they do about when they want about vote, oh, yeah. they even involve the LGBTI. Mm. But hardly we had so many challenges, and it was gonna be a new road for me, like hosting outdoor event. Like I decided, let me just. Hold it because mm -hmm. in Nika, I'm a Sunday Nuka and I'm working alone. So I decided to postpone it until further notice. But okay. there's something that is coming, people. Sure. Bang, I care. Sure. See, I, I, I'm, not, I'm a soldier. Yes, yes. soldier. Yes. Oh. Yes. So, what are you hoping? Um, what awareness do you hope that the event Igasi Pride is going to bring to the masses, to the community yeah. at large? Because of uh, the black community, I would say that we have challenged more than when we're having fun in town because we will never have fun in town and after that because of the way he is. But where we live with our brothers and sisters, because of his gay, because of she's a lesbian, like it's not so known for being 
who, who you are. we are. Yeah. Like as in we were born gay, but not knowing that we are gay. But along the way, yeah. you catch that okay, there's these different things. Then mm. na, the belonger up. By by the time I was playing the Gassi Pride, I knew that when our parents see us in numbers going around the streets yeah. of Kailicha, of Nyanga, of Kukuleto, shouting like. We're rejoicing ourselves, yeah. showing ourselves that this is who we are as a Rainbow Nation family. I I, I knew that some of the parents that accept uh -huh. will be happy, like will yeah. see us in numbers. In the Konba, okay, Lento I could So it was one of the reasons like I was trying to bring it us, but mm. like there's more coming and, and post it can teach I'm gonna bring more to the community yeah. so i want to know uh, what is it that you you guys do to educate uh people and inform them uh, inform them about the, the lgbti community to get them to understand you guys and uh then accept what is it that you guys do to educate people and then make them understand okay no this session not a sin because of i am that kind of a person when i'm hosting i'm not involving only the lgbti mm. but inviting everyone okay. to be part of the event so that people can have a clarity while we're talking because i believe some so-called straight people will want to know nina how do you have sex for instance you understand so they need those kind of clarity so that we can be accepted in our community mm. i mean what what is the importance of your representation within specifically our black communities what do you think is standing for your representation um, because of um, this person I am, outspoken person then, um, I'm always like representing myself in a way yeah. that uh, I'm not, I'm not going to hide myself because mm -hmm. of my neighbours. Yeah. My parents accept me the way I am, they love me and my brothers love me, mm -hmm. so why shouldn't I worry about Omyo um, Undo yeah. By me coming like this way out, sure. maybe not the Omyo um, Undo yeah. that maybe he was, she's still in a closet. Mm -hmm. Speaking of people who are in the closet, and those who are not, and those who are not gay, but would love to join the march to show my yeah, comrades the doing the best. <laughs> How can they join the march? I was, in, I was inviting them as well to be part of the event. Hence, I'm saying, hence I, I said to you that I even involved the political parties mm -hmm. to come, like people were asking, look all not to seize them. And then I was like, yes, everyone is welcome. How can they join. do it quickly? Okay, they because of the match, it has been postponed mm -hmm. until further notice. Yeah. But then um, they are willing to come anytime when uh, I, I bring it on, on, on social media again. Okay, we're going to a network very quickly. We need to postpone this. But we are still on our hashtag for today. It is hashtag Tuesday. And I mean, you're letting them tweets come through and we're loving it. So do continue to, to do the right thing and go into social media at XA underscore live on Twitter and at XA underscore Cape Town TV on Facebook. Or give us a call on 021 448 And speaking of your tweets for today, we have Ufla was saying when you are in in your prayer room remove that mask that you wear in public the same mask that makes you appear strong and untouchable allow yourself to break down in God's presence we are so used to pretending even to a point where we pretend before God hashtag choose they never pretend that's about woman embrace yourself love yourself choose yourself this hashtag Tuesday and the last one being from Uluan saying hello Buyo, hello darling <laughs> Lama and Awonke saying let your light shine before men then that they may see you that they may see your, your good works and glorify your father in heaven that is Matthew 5 verse 16 choose to be the light today good afternoon and everyone from XA hashtag choose day and listen on today's show we are having I mean we've had some fashion we've had some uh, someone from the pride group and now we'll be chatting to a poet and her name is Siaka and I'm doing this top billing style because like <laughs> 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 I'm going to do XA Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
Um, so as in, okay, ukula galanga, okay, guan kulisa mentally and even in terms of a poetry, I am because abandu baby appreciate a cool, especially that I'm a female praise poet because oh. most of the times, e praise poetry is done by men. Mm. Huh. So every time I had to perform, one um, was like, Ima, and I'll be like, Yeah, dim, sure. I'm here for it. So, the fundelu kuluga kulu kalanga and. Yonge into be be corner for about my inspiration because there was be corner yonge do like including the crime, yeah. isn't was as a positive, isn't was a negative. So yonge do be corner to inspire me to keep on doing the praise poetry. You know, what I want to know is that um sorry no, no, to cut you off. I know that you take pride in the language is because uh, mm. and that you read a lot of books. Sabando abapa re, abanda abami yama abapa abakosa author kosa authors. I wanna know why is that the same name yako ipaluka ajigota umdu. Okay, <laughs> what a piece of book, Makaula. What I take pride in the language. But um, because And then, it's written Makaula. So, I'm but in a And he was like, so I saw stage name. No. Inja, we eyed. Inja, we eyed. <laughs> yeah. So, what's it going to be? I'm going to be a bull. So, we had to give them something that sounds familiar. Yeah. So, <laughs> exactly. The <laughs> praise poet um, is nothing. I, I'm not taking anything away from Abandamin's poetry yeah. like in general. But the praise one is not. Easy. Yeah. So when did you start developing a skill and the love and the presence? Because you know, present. Because you have both. Yeah. 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 So apparently, when I started the praise poetry in 2007, so like a kama kula, which is uma mozala uma mam. Abanya mm. bazu. Do you really want me to count? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was 14. Yeah. Okay. Pretty so, young. So yeah. um. Umakulu was so like, and then Abanibazu and Abasta Babazo to Lula Bazotin and Andy Tandy is in business. So I've been as Gwen's and Nick's. But to figure where to, there was just something, Elapagum, eh? So Yakalapayana and Zangia Pinda Yaka. It is never, ever, ever stopped. So can't figure that way any, the Aguazu figure in Shalin, Ben Nomans is clever. I'm not going to do anything, I'm not even involved. But then you figure what a feeling, iti Pagama, in the Lenufnik and Kanding in Zang and Nuabi. I don't want to lie. And how has it, it, the poetry changed in Biloyako? How has it improved your life? I mean, um, I've performed for a band that I thought I've never performed for. Yeah. And also, I've went to places that I was like, okay, in Suga Kalanga, yeah. so I'll never be in the UK, I'll yeah. never be to Nigeria. I feel like I And so I was in the a UK. Sure. Yes, <laughs> UK. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And places like Nigeria yeah. and also the main part of SA's Got Talent. So uh, it was it was very nice and it changed a cool 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 life because when I get to these places, the notice about these people really really appreciate yeah. what I do. Yeah. And come on, DJ, come on, come on, come on. I want to know because you know I'm all about the cash. <laughs> How does can you as a person okay not necessarily drop out of school but mm. can you pursue this as a career and how do you make money? Yeah. Out? Yeah. Yes, I can. Actually, yeah. that's what I'm doing. Yeah, how, how do you make money? Oh, by bookings and what else? Yeah, people book me, um, especially for weddings, okay. because the uh, praise poetry is normally used for uh, celebrations mm. and also to welcome, like, the consumers that look cool in the comments that when who come to me about they normally oh, use the yeah. praise poetry to ban about very background, the kaya, and gubani, wa pesa, long bani. So, most of us don't care freestyle. <laughs> she can never do that. Abanya Bandu would have to look up to, especially in good Jessica Mbadiani, correct. Um, why that specific person? What does yeah. she do for you? First of all, Jessica Mbadiani, uyi mbongi yom tonyama, engu mdongu mama. Yeah. Okay. So, indwe ngabila yo leyo. So, every time the bonu Jessica Mbadiani, I see myself for you. Mm. I'm like, nangu siyaka in the next five years. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> Because I used to in the Kule Uchesika Magening, I perform in Dingham Boni, but Ben Tanduzo Lanim Kiva, but there was just something missing. Because, yeah, now Uzi Sala father figure. Yeah. But I wanted Umdong Mama and Dizo Bonba. Actually, I'm not alone. Yeah. So now that Guku Chesika and the Ayazba, we can also do it. Yeah. Do you watch movies? 
Yeah, I do. Okay, he's got a movie for us. Yeah, it's a very, very interesting movie. It's called Deep End. It's about a, a young lady from Durban, Indian, wants to pursue a career in surfing, but then her father has other views mm -hmm. with regards to that. You know how our fathers be. Mm -hmm. so my phone is in the TV. I want us to be doctors. <laughs> but anyway, let's check out the thing of the movie. That is so deep. <laughs> deep End. Deep end. to get a guy. The right car, apartment, yoga. You'd rather have a computer tell you who to date than a human. You know my Uncle Madhu. So he has a friend who has a nephew. Hello, auntie. Hello, auntie. Hello, auntie. Whiskey all round. Oh, water was mine. Oh, you drink? <coughs> no, 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 uncle. My mother said that whiskey, honey, and ginger is good for my Pepper coffee. spray. I'm an Indian guy. Just makes them hungry. Dreams have a funny way of becoming real. And that's when you grab them. Never let them go. Is it difficult to serve? Look, if I can do it, you can. Your friend. Sunny, are you stalking me? Who are you? you have issues? I think I'll ask my sponsor. I don't like you going there anymore. What are you doing here? I'm running away. Guess who? for the day so you can go out to outlets and book that movie and watch it over and over again if you love Indian movies. Yeah. XA yeah. underscore live is who we are on Twitter, on Facebook it's XA, on Cape Town TV. The hashtag to use today is hashtag Tuesday. What are you choosing? You're choosing XA, you're choosing the gay pride, you're choosing to be a poet, you're choosing to enter Miss Mbekwenis. <laughs> who knows? Let us know 021-448-0448 is that number to dial. Tomorrow is another day where we're going to be covering sciences myself oh, no. and Sinalo are gonna be in the building so make sure that you tune in so Siaka in the evening as well but again and Doni Gushonipa Sibin and be film Queen Nambu's a two as a band of like you are doing so it's something that will never leave you Mm -hmm. I saw the suki where whether you're gonna run away from it is also not go yam and arrow. Yeah. And Kubalu Lake in Gabana, Nuba Upi, Nuba Uyap, Nubu Hamba Nabani, Shamiz as Bang Bani, because I'm not as you call it. I mean, I would like to know who mentioned Obana Kuko poet here, Mshonya and Can you explain those two differences for Umbra and Umbra Yazi? So, Imbondi, yes, but Yapala. Yeah. So, you'll find them, but he's spoken red poetry. So, okay. write poems, okay. and yeah. memorize them. Yeah. And then, Imbondi, Mshonya, my life and alarm. Okay. So, but he's more very stuff. Okay. See, Ted interesting his way. Yeah. All the time, we don't write. But all the time when we perform, we'll always perform different forms because it comes from the heart. So, see, Laulua, Ngumoya. Abanyabandu, they always say, but I'm not sure that they tell him that I'm not sure 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 that I'm since we're in Chile, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice if I'm going to use my melee and stuff like that. Because if you're going to be able to do it, then you're going to be able to do it. Okay. 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 Interview Yaki, but a lot of people don't consider her poet, he poets mm. as in time, it's empty, it's because only poem. Oh, yeah, how do you feel about <laughs> 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 I 
um, they consider themselves poets. Yeah, I do consider them poets because in the poetry, um, it's all about you believing in yourself because they mm. will never ever believe in you. Even Nasekaya, about they were like, we are now like an So you say Indoya, but the minute it makes money, Indoya. Okay, so Indoya was also not and what inspired it? Um, I wanna inspire every young person who's sitting at home with a hidden talent, or okay, with a talent that's considered to be small. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We always consider abanda ba tula, ba yo na talent ba lekle yo kanya soccer players or whatever. But the poets and other people who have ba present ay. Yeah, but na esin talent esin jenge zin. Exactly. As chatel na le. So you can back talent do bana. No matter how small it is, it matters. No matter how yeah. small it is, it matters. Yeah. Go dream us and do what you're passionate for. Yeah. And then you'll never work a day in your life because just having so much fun. If you missed this particular episode, I'm gonna go YouTube. It's Excel on Cape Town TV. And so for yeah. us to say adios, We amigos. do this tomorrow, same time, same place, 4 p.m. on channel 260. This is Excel. We love you so, so much. And the same time for now. I'm Vio Chiboja. That is Amo the 1K. And that is Lama Moon. We'll see you. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>